Hello coders, welcome to another How to Code Well tutorial. Today we're going to be dealing with PHP Array Flip. This flips the values and the keys. So let's crack on, let's get into the code. So the first thing I need to do is create an array. We're going to create an array called basket. And in this basket, I'm going to have socks. I'm going to have jeans and I'm also going to have shoes. So now we have the array. What we would like to do is flip this. This means that the keys and the values are flipped. I'm going to print this out. I'm going to type print pre and then we're going to have a closing pre tag. And between these pre tags, we're going to print out the array. So type print R and then pass in the variable basket like so. On line three, we're going to flip the array. So let's do array underscore flip like so. Now this requires the array that you would like to flip. So we're going to pass in the basket variable. And what I'm going to do is control click the function call and show you the documentation. So this exchanges all keys with their associated values in an array. It's got the link here to the php.net manual. Go check that out for more information. So it takes an array as the first and only property and it is an array of key value pairs to be flipped. It returns the array that will be flipped. So this returns the results of the flipped array. So let's add the variable here called basket and then flipped like so. And we're going to assign that the return of array underscore flip. Okay, we're going to print out the flipped array as well. So under line five, we're going to do a print R of basket flipped like so. I'm just going to give this a little bit of room like that so we can see it a little bit more clearly. Let's hit save and let's go into the browser. So as we can see, we have the original array here. We have the keys zero, one, and two, and then socks, jeans, and shoes. The result of the array flip is like so. So what we're doing here is we're flipping the values and the keys. So the numeric keys that we had previously are now the values of this array. So when you want to change the values to be the keys, this is what you would do. So this becomes an associated array because the keys are no longer numeric. Of course, if you had numeric keys and values, then that would be fine as well. If you found this coding tutorial helpful, then please do let me know. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the How to Code Well channel. I've got lots of video courses and tutorials like this. If you've got any coding questions, then please don't hesitate to ask. Ask them on the Discord server. Go to howtocowell.net forward slash discord and also do check out the howtocowell.net website for other courses and tutorials. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.